Hello there, YouTube family. It is Mercy here back today with my dad, Patrick, in a another Dollar Tree haul. Uh, we got a lot of exciting items today. Ooh. We have um, a lot more Halloween items if you're kind of more interested in that. Um, a lot of interesting food items to show you guys today and the like. So um, if you uh, like these kind of videos, make sure to like, subscribe, comment down below like the sign says. Um, I'll give it over to my dad to make a few announcements and go back to me and then we'll start. So here's my dad. Thank you, Mercy. Hello, everyone. I am so excited about today's haul. Like Mercy said, we have a ton of Halloween items. A lot of you have said in the comments, I cannot wait to see what kind of art Mercy comes up with Halloween and just what kind of crafting you guys do. So we're really excited. Before I begin today's video, I would like to continue a Saturday tradition that I've had, that I've done for about six weeks now, and that is comment on today's top 40, American Top 40, and I'm gonna give you the top five songs for August 31st, 1985. They're very interesting. Three of the songs were from prominent movies of the year. So here we go, this is from Casey Kasem's Top 40 from August 31st, 1985. Number five, for all you might, for all of, not my, for all of our Canadian friends out there, it is Canadian Brian Adams, Summer of 69. I love that song. That song would go on to reach number one. It was on the way up at this time. Number four was the song, We Don't Need Another Hero by Tina Turner, the legendary Tina Turner from the Mad Max Beyond Thunderdome soundtrack. Number three, the legendary Motown singer, Aretha Franklin with Freeway of Love. Wonderful track. Number two, a wonderful movie and a wonderful song, St. Elmo's Fire, in parentheses, Man in Motion by John Parr. The number one song was from Back to the Future, legendary 80s movie, Back to the Future, Power of Love by Huey Lewis and the News. Like I said, three of those five songs were from movie soundtracks. Comment below, what's your favorite of those five songs? Mine is, might surprise you, is actually Summer of 69 by Brian Adams. It was my favorite song of those five. So I will turn it over to Mercy. Mercy would have a few things to say and then we'll get into our haul. Okay. Um, if you guys already kind of knew, um, I started high school this past week. Uh, it was my very first week of high school. And let me tell you, I had a really, really good week. Um, very long days though, because I had volleyball after practice and games. Um, we both, we won both games. So that was very exciting. Um, but just school in general, I love my school so, so much. I love my teachers. We haven't gotten too much homework yet, which is good. Um, and I just, I, I love my school and the environment. So, um, yeah, it was a, it was a very fun week in general. Um, and yeah, that's, I guess that's all I have to say on that. And then, uh, one more little announcement before we start the haul. Um, we uh, are going to be switching up our videos a little bit. We are going to be doing a little bit more variety in our videos, I guess. Don't worry, we're still going to be doing Dollar Tree hauls because we know y'all love them and we love them too. Um, but we just think that maybe... Um, we're just gonna put a little bit more variety into our videos like maybe you could see like some like Trader Joe's hauls, Costco hauls, um, maybe just like some other stores, um, maybe even Goodwill, I don't know, Q&A. Um, we're definitely thinking about doing a Q&A sometime in the future. We don't know yet, but definitely sometime in the future. Um, and yeah, we are very, very excited about that. So stay tuned um, for some variety near you and now let's go out the hall right. so i'm gonna start today and i have a lot of halloween items to show you guys first of all look at these pumpkins these are um these kind of like light up mesh pumpkins kind of you can see like this like glittery orange mesh 
There's some black mesh at the top, which kind of looks like a spider web, uh, if you ask me. Um, and this black velvety kind of like uh, stem. And if you take the tag out from the bottom and you turn on the light, Ooh. it lights up. So cool. It kind of it kind of looks like a jack o' lantern, but without the face, you know. Um, and I I think that's a really pretty light. I really really like that. Um, so there you go, some little decor to um, uh, jazz up your house a little bit. Um, also in the Halloween section, we have this little treat box right here. Look at this, you guys. It says, trick or treating with my gnomies. Like, you know, the gnomes uh, from Dollar Tree. Um, gnomes are very prominent in Dollar Tree. If you've seen them throughout the seasons, you will definitely know. Um, and they have them for Halloween this year. And look at that they are all so cutely dressed up we got mommy witch uh like a frankenstein dude cat and just a regular wizard which i think is so adorable um got this nice little handle right here um lots of space inside you can put like some candy or just like whatever little trinkets you wish you can put in here um and then going along with the gnome theme again we have uh, these kitchen towels with that same gnome print trick-or-treating with my gnomies like that's just so cute I love that um the material is pretty decent it's it's so so um it's it's definitely better than a lot of kitchen towels at Dollar Tree but it's it's pretty decent I'd say um but look at that pattern that is just mm, I love that and then we have another um, little kitchen towel right here that says Happy Haunting with a black truck that says Ghoul's Pumpkin Delivery. That's so cute. And we got some jack-o'-lanterns in the back, a little ghost, um, some bats flying around. That is also super adorable. Kind of has like a more of like a farmhouse feel, but with a Halloween twist. So I really like that one. And then, of course, we have to get signs, like, what's a Dollar Tree haul around here without signs? Um, we have this one with a jack-o'-lantern stack, and look at the little kitty on top. That's so cute. I love cats. Um, it's got, like, these nice little glittery details, if you guys can see that, um, with, like, inside the jack-o'-lantern and on the little, like, rind line things on the pumpkins um very very adorable they got different faces and of course the cat to top it all off i love that also and then we got this sign right here just a simple one that says happy halloween um with like kind of like these orange panels and the o in halloween is a little spider oh well, actually he might not even be a spider because he only has six legs, but who am I to judge? Am I right? Um, so yeah. Oh, it also has a little spider web at the top. Very, very cute sign. Oh, down here also. And it's also got some glitter in there. And then we have this other one that says spooky um, with the skull and bones right there. I love this one spooky season halloween you know not many better words to describe that um or just to describe halloween spooky season um got the spider webs once again just kind of the white um paneling also very very cute and then we have this sign right here that once again says spooky on there spooky halloween with this little mansion haunted mansion right love there love i love that, that too kind of gives off scooby-doo vibes um with the mansions and stuff um but yeah it just says halloween spooky at the top uh lots of glitter in the signs and yeah there is cool. that all right um we have a few more halloween items to show you we don't have 
any more signs we do have some more halloween things um we picked up these packages of these eyeball decor things they kind of look like uh ping pong balls um i mean i guess you could use them as that i don't know if they're supposed to but um yeah we just have these um eyeballs um we have them with like a yellow iris red probably the most fitting and blue i love eyeballs so much i love drawing them um so this might be a good subject to draw um and they're just i just love eyes they're just so different and so unique and are very very fitting for halloween and then last but not least uh this one i'm probably the most excited about this one i just think is so cool look at this it's a little spider and it's like a little candy tray um there's not too much space so maybe you could put like a couple um fun size bars in there but i just look at that that Love is it. just that is just so adorable um and it's kind of got like some texture on here to kind of resemble like the hair on the spider which i really like it's got this interesting little like almost like kaleidoscope pattern on oh, yeah. the spider yeah. um inside like the little thing to put the candy in and yeah there you go That's so cool very very neato okay um so now we're done with halloween stuff now we're just gonna do a bunch of other little random things here um so we have these things to show you these are disney princess little figurine bag clips um if you guys love Disney, this is definitely for you, especially Disney princesses. I remember growing up, I loved Disney princesses, um, yeah. and, and I still do, you know. Um, so there's four of them to collect on the bag. I just have three with me here. We have Snow White, Tinkerbell, and Ariel. There's also Cinderella here, but we couldn't find that one, but... Yeah, those are those three. You can put these on your backpack um, or just like a pack that you have or whatever. I think they are very, very cute. Cool. Um, This is something, this next item I get every single year. Um, it's a calendar, but it has horses on it. Horses are my favorite, favorite animal. I've loved them for a very long time. Um, I love riding horses. I don't do it too often, but if I get the chance to, I always like to. Um, so yeah, this is the horses, uh, 2023 12 month calendar. Um, it's just very cool. Um, and usually I get them from Dollar Tree. Last year I got mine from Walmart, but this year we're going to stick to, uh, Dollar Tree. Um, so, oh, there's cardboard. That's lovely. Um, so as you can see here, like for example, uh, there's April, there's like the little uh, calendar thing, and then here's the picture of like a horse, and then they just got like some more. Also, um, all of them are on the back here if you want to see those. Um, and yeah, I love horses. This will be very nice to look at in my room every single day. So there you go. And then this last item, this last item is not too important per se, but I have a little story with this one and I, I think you guys will like it. Um, anyways, here's the item. This is a drain rooter. Basically, um, with the drain rooter, you basically like put this in your sink or like your bathtub or whatever. If you think it's like clogged, put it in there. It's like super long too. I think it says what? 18 inches. Yeah. Um, 18 inch reach um it's got a lot of grooves in there to get like hair and stuff out which is super duper nice but let me tell you a little story so um last winter i say i had this uh cross necklace i wore like almost every single day and i remember i was putting it on one morning and the chain fell like the cross little chain it fell right down my sink because the chain it's like super loose and stuff um so it just fell right down i was so devastated i remember like I, I i really missed it because i loved that cross necklace and now i couldn't have the cross 
So um, that was really unfortunate. Um, however, it wasn't until about a week ago, I'd say, I just randomly um, decided to use one of these bad boys because my dr my sink was getting like super clogged up and stuff and like the water was getting kind of clogged up. So I decided to use one of these one night and I stuck it down there. And then I remember when I pulled it out, all the hair came off and then right in the opposite direction flew off my cross chain. Wow. Like, that's pretty, that, that's, that, that should say something. It's pretty powerful. Um, and here's the cross necklace right here. Oh, wow. I'm wearing it. Mm. So this honestly has, it, this really saves a lot of valuable things, I'd say. Um, definitely use this if you've lost something down your drain. Um, maybe it can pull it back up. So, yeah, there you go. And now that is it from my end of the spectrum. And now, here's Patrick. Thank you, Mercy. Wonderful job. I love that story of retrieving the cross. Wow, it was very powerful. That should tell everyone something right there. I'll leave it at that. Okay, everyone, I just have about six or seven more items, and then we're going to have a really fun taste test at the end. Okay, so we got this toolbox. You know, just a really simple toolbox, um, tool bench hardware. You know, it's a Greenbrier, Greenbrier product, Dollar Tree product. And, you know, we may use it as a toolbox. You know, we have some screwdrivers. We have a hammer. You know, we have a few things around the house, a few tools. Um, but we may, you know, we may just use it as kind of an organizer, you know, organize things in there, um, you know, but it comes in useful. This, you know, this, it's a decent amount of space in there, as you can see, um, trying to see the dimensions here. It actually doesn't say the dimensions on the front, but as you know, it's about, you know, it's about 12 inches by maybe five inches here, but you know, just a nice simple toolbox that you can use as a toolbox or for organizing. So we found that, which is, a, you know, for about 25, why not? We got that. Pretty fun. And then Mercy had mentioned actually Scooby-Doo before when she was talking about the spooky mansions. Well, tell me this doesn't remind you of Scooby-Doo. Look at that. Is that not the mystery machine or what? So it's a luggage tag, but we just, that just caught our eye because that just reminds you, for those of you who remember Scooby-Doo, where are you? They would ride around in the mystery machine. And boy, does that ever look like the mystery machine. But you know, in and of itself, what a cool luggage tag, you know, you're on the back, of course. Your name, your address, telephone, email. So how fun was that? Just a really, really fun luggage tag that reminds us of the mystery machine. And then this drawstring bag has these sugar skulls on it. You know, it's kind of a little bit of a spooky vibe to go along with the Halloween stuff drawstring bag yeah just you know who can't use those you, you know you can always use these kind of bags just for just for anything and it's just we really like I thought that it was really neat design really enjoy kind of the spooky vibe of the sugar skulls so we found that and then these are really fun um slotted and solid churner just you know for flipping burgers using around the kitchen but we just kind of thought it was fun that they had kind of the matching set and kind of the marble design. Really enjoy that marble design. You know, for $1.25, my goodness. You know, marble design. Yeah, slotted and solid churner. We found those. And then, oh, everyone in the comments, let me know when you guys, for those of you who do go to Dollar Tree quite a bit, which I assume is a lot of you, I don't know. But for those of you who do make it to Dollar Trees quite a bit, have you been finding these? Because we have not. There are five Dollar Trees that we go to on a fairly regular basis, and most of them are out of these. You know, the brand the brand name, you know, Reynolds Wrap, 25 foil sheets. So we found them this time, but they are difficult to find. Comment below, are they, have they been difficult to find at your DTs? I'm just very curious. Maybe it's just a Minnesota thing, but let me know. I would be very curious to know that. So we found those. Now this was kind of neat. So um, they also had, we found this, you know, bottle with just no 
writing on it. But I just, we really like it. I just think it's so cool. Um, you know, kind of that comes out. I like the sound it makes. Um, there were also bottles that said oil and ones that said vinegar. So we decided to just get this blank one and we really like it. And we actually got two of them, but I just decided to show one. So we found that, I don't know. I just really like the look of it. Just nice and sturdy. Great for drizzling. Oh yeah, these are just great. So, you know, we kind of like the blank one, but it's kind of fun, you know, that they have oil and vinegar um, ones as well. So we found that. And just a couple of more food and drink items, guys, and then our taste test. Okay, so now this is basil pesto. And very interesting. I was kind of looking at this before the haul. So obviously, you know, you guys know you can use this on, you know, pizza, pasta, and the like. Um, it's 6.5 ounces. What I found very interesting was the calories per serving. You know, I mean, of course, you're not going to eat this in, in huge bulk. You're just going to use it a little bit at a time. But I was just very kind of surprised. 200 calories per serving. You know, only 3.5 servings in here. Serving size is fourth of a cup. But just found that kind of interesting. And the fat content is very interesting. Total fat, 18 grams, 24%. I was like, wowza. So that's interesting. But of course, you know, most of us just use this a little bit at a time. So it's not too much of a concern. But just, I just kind of found that interesting. But yeah, just a nice uh, bottle of pesto for, or jar of pesto rather, for a buck 25, 6.5 ounces. So we found that. And then this I had hauled before in a previous haul, but we just, it's a repeat buy. We like these. Just the Lance Toast Chi Sandwich Crackers Peanut Butter. We've tried them on the channel. Yes, we've tried these on the channel before, but we just, you know, just wanted to show that we picked them up. Repeat purchase. And then, you know, it was probably a year where I could not find jalapeno slices at Dollar Tree. So now every time I see them, I pick them up just in case they go away again. I love these. Um, I probably eat an entire jar, no doubt, in about a week and a half. So I really enjoy these. Put them on pizza, put them on nachos, put them on regular chips. So you get 11 and a half ounces. I really, really like the taste of these compared to um, a lot of the peppers you find, like name brand. Well, this is actually name brand, Breckenridge, Breckenridge Farms is name brand. Um, but yeah, I really enjoy these, so I always pick these up when I see them. And then one more food item and a couple drinks, then our taste test. So now these we are gonna make up at a different time. These are Kinder's Mains Street Taco Bowl. Of course, you have to buy your own ground beef, obviously. And this one is the fajita rice bowl. And like I said, we have to, you know, you have to pick up ground beef, makes four servings, just add meat and toppings, 6.7 ounces. Um, I won't go through most of the calorie stuff on the back. I'll just put it up to the screen for those of you who want to pause it if you want to get this because we're not going to taste test this today. Um, but these look absolutely delicious. So this one is the street taco bowl. There's the calorie info and all the info. And this one is the fajita rice bowl that I just put up. So we found those. Yum, yum, yum. Can't wait to make those up. And then a couple of interesting drinks and then the taste test, guys. So... This is a name brand. We found this Nescafe cold brew latte and 8.1 fluid ounces. I personally have never tried this. Mercy, have you tried this one? No. You have not. Okay. I don't know. Yeah, I don't think Mercy's mom has tried this one either. Anyway, this will be interesting. Nescafe cold brew latte, milk coffee. So this will be interesting. This will be very interesting. The writing is really tiny. I'll put it up there. In case you guys want to pause it, but it could, I don't know, on the screen if it'll translate very well, but um, that'll be fun to try at another time. And then this one looked interesting. And this is, I haven't heard of this brand name, Kitu, um, but it is Super Cold Brew Caffeine um, Zero Grams Added Sugar Dairy Free, Bold and Smooth, and it's Unsweetened Black Enhanced Coffee Beverage. Hmm. So I don't know what this tastes like. We just thought it was interesting, you know, looked interesting in the store. Mercy, you haven't tried that either? No. Never tried these? Okay. And then we got this one in the mocha. So this one is a mocha. And sweetened cream. Yes. 
yes, yeah, sweet and creamy mocha and the unsweetened black, you know, enhanced coffee beverage. So we'll give those a try. What's interesting is the very low calorie total there because there's no sugar. Yes. So 20 calories for this whole can. So that would be an interesting taste. My gut feeling is I won't love this, but we just thought it'd be interesting to try it. So maybe we will let you know, you know, once we try this, how these went. And which kind of coffee do you guys prefer? Like, do you guys yes. like black coffee or do you guys like, like the super like creamy sugary ones? Like, yes. I'm just curious. Yes. Let us know. Comment below all you coffee drinkers out there. Guys, that's it for the haul. And now we are ready for the taste test. I'm really mm. excited about today's taste test. Let me organize them in the order. We're going to try them. We've tried this brand before. Muffin King. It says, try me hot. We're not going to do that. We're going to eat them straight out of the package. So I don't know how these will score, but let's try it. So before we do, I would like to mention it's a product of Spain, which is kind of fascinating. Product of Spain. And the calorie info is there's 180 calories per serving and you get four servings per container. So one serving size is two muffins. So there is the info for those of you who want to pause it and look at that. Without further ado, Mercy, let's try this. Now, I don't know, what's your opinion if you might like this or not? What's your guess? Well... We've never, we've never tried this. We tried Muffin King, but not Jalapeno. Yeah, well, um, I have seen like Jalapeno and Cheddar combined oh, yeah. in, in cornbread. So I've okay. had tried something similar to these before. Okay, you have. Okay. So... Interesting. My hopes are uh, uh, down. You need the scissors or you, you got it? I think I got it. Okay. Very interesting. They look innocent enough out of the package. Um, this will be very interesting. Now you don't have to eat the whole muffin. I'm just gonna take one bite because I just don't know how this is gonna go. Got my my trusty McDonald's Coke here. I've just got plain old water today. Ooh, all right, I'm a little apprehensive, but we'll try it. You ready? Yeah. Oh boy, here we go. It's just the little tiniest kick of jalapeno. Yeah, I'll let Mercy. I have a strong opinion on this, but I will keep it to myself. I'll let Mercy go first. Now, I have tried the Muffin King cornbread before, and honestly, I don't really like it. It's just, it doesn't really taste like cornbread to me. It tastes a little bit too processed for my taste. And it's just okay. With the jalapenos, it makes it slightly better, but not too much better. So I think I would probably have to give this an 8.3. An 8.3. I'm gonna go lower. And I love jalapenos and I like muffins. I do not like this combined together. And you know what? I give Muffin King credit for trying it. Why not? You try it, maybe, you know, a thousand people watching this might love it. I don't love it. I'm gonna go as low as 7.6. It's just a C for me. It's an average product and I probably wouldn't buy this again. The jalapeno took a long time to kick in for me. It didn't kick in till about five seconds after I ate it. And it just, it isn't enough spice to really change the taste that much. For me, it's almost kind of an irritant. It's almost like, well, you just ate a muffin. Oh, now there's a spice. I don't know. I just couldn't imagine eating like more than one of these at a time. And it's just not for me. It's not awful. It's just average. So for me, that one's average, but I'm glad we tried it. And Mercy gave it a B, a B minus. So it's interesting. And I agree, I agree with everything Mercy said about the texture of the, I, I agree with everything what you said about the texture and your general thoughts about it. So that, I'm really glad we tried that, Merce. Yeah. Okay. This one I think will be slightly more fun. And who doesn't love caramel corn? So this will be very interesting. You know, we live in Minnesota and our state fair started on Thursday. So a lot of these kind of foods out at the state fair. This is L. Francis Company. L. Francis caramel corn made with Wisconsin grade 
double A butter. So our rivals in Wisconsin, our friends and rivals, our friendly rivals. I'd like to mention really quick that the Packers play, the Green Bay Packers, play the Minnesota Vikings in the first game this year. And I will be very interested in that game as a Vikings fan. And I'll just leave it at that for now. Okay. Now, the writing on back could be hard for everyone to read. It's very light font, very, you know, lightly colored font. So I will just tell you, in case you couldn't read that, that there are 230 calories per serving. A serving size is one package. So 230 calories in this. Uh, let's see, it says right here, made in the good old USA. And I think it is made, like it said, made with Wisconsin grade AA butter. And in, indeed, Appleton, Wisconsin. So it's kind of neat. A Midwest product. So let's try this, Merce. Yeah. I'm optimistic. I think this will taste, uh, I don't know. I've never tried this brand. Hard to say. Here you go, Merce. All right. Let's try it. I'm actually really looking forward to this one. All right. It look like that. Popcorn and caramel combined. Just good old caramel corn. Ready? Two things I can never have with braces. Ooh. Oh, that's right. How fun for you to eat this with no braces. Yes. Oh my goodness, everybody. All right, here we go. Cheers, down the hatch. Ladies first. That is absolutely delicious. I love that. Yes, chef's kiss. That is the exact definition of chef's kiss material. The caramel is perfectly sweet. It's not too bitter, not too sweet, just right. The popcorn is amazing. It doesn't get too caught in your teeth. Um, it's really good. The kernels are the kernels are really big, um, so you don't get too many little like little tiny ones, you know. And those that that's amazing. I would definitely give that a nine point five. Nine point five, mercy! Wow. Check another. Um, yes, this is really tasty. Um, I have to hand it to our Wisconsin neighbors. This is absolutely delicious. I'm gonna give it a 9.3, a 9.3, a high A, a middle A. Um, it's absolutely delicious. I'm gonna also eat another one. Wow. That was amazing. Go out and buy that at your Dollar Tree right now. Okay, one more drink. One last item, everyone. Okay, now we have tried many moon pies on this channel before and we're going to try another one and fitting with the theme of today's haul with all the halloween stuff let's try pumpkin spice moon pies shall we they're minis you get six of them good old-fashioned moon pies this will be interesting this could go either way for me i'm not quite sure about this one but we, we're gonna try it this will be fun so these are made in i believe Try to see. I think this is a product in Illinois. What does it say here? That's hard to read. Tennessee. Isn't it? Tennessee, yes. Chattanooga. Yes. So it's an American product. The calorie info is as follows 110 per serving. Serving size, you know, there's six of them, and a serving size is one pie. So there you go. So this will be fun. Kind of a dessert to end the taste test. And I don't know, Mercy, what are your general thoughts on moon pies in general? I've never actually had a moon pie before. You've never had a moon This is it. So this is your first, this is your first, I guess every other moon pie taste test has been with just me. So this will be really fun to have Mercy try one out. You know, they have the bigger ones and these are considered the minis. So there you go, Merce. Like I said, there's six of them in the package and these are the pumpkin spice minis. They look like this coming out of the package and... I don't know, pumpkin spice. This could go either way. I'm really looking forward to this. Don't eat the whole thing. Let's take a bite. Okay. Are you ready? Yes. Here we go. They're about that big, as you can see, compared to my hands. All right. 
down the hatch. Interesting. They're okay. Um, I mean, I'm assuming this is not how every single moon pie is, obviously, because, you know, different flavors. Mm -hmm. Um, the cake is a little dry for my taste. They're all that way. Yeah. yeah moon pies are kind of that way. Mm -hmm. Kind of dry. The filling kind of makes up for it, though. The taste of this, however, it's a little bit, um, underwhelming. Very underwhelming. Like, it definitely smells like pumpkin spice, but the taste is barely there. Unfortunately, I think I'd have to give these, like, like a 7.9. 7.9. Mm -hmm. Just missing a B. I'm going to go even lower than that, surprisingly. I'm going to go, and I, I think... On this channel, I've always given Moon Pies a very good score. I also think this one had, it just followed a very delicious product, the caramel corn. So it kind of suffers compared, because I just remember eating the caramel corn, and it was so good. And this one I think is just, maybe if I had to try this second, I'm gonna go 7.6. It's just average for me, just an average product. Probably wouldn't get this one again, because I love Moon Pies and I love the other flavors. I love the strawberry Moon Pies. Love the regular, you know, the, the chocolate moon pies, banana cream moon pies. So I'm not a huge pumpkin spice person anyways. I'm not like a pumpkin spice latte person. A lot of people are. A lot of people love it. I love pumpkins. I love the way they look. I love pumpkins for Halloween. I'm not a huge pumpkin spice person. So uh, for me, yeah, 7.6 for me, just to see. But let me tell you, the caramel corn was so good. O-M-G. Absolutely delicious. Oh my God goodness guys that's it that's it for today's haul thank you so much for watching haul and taste test thank you so much for watching thank you everyone who subscribed to our channel and leaves comments and everyone who watches even one minute of our channel we appreciate you all so much you are all our friends you've been just so kind with all of your comments and and friend mail and everything else so thank you thank you thank you we're going to try to diversify our channel a little bit coming up we'll still do dollar tree hauls but we're going to do other things as mercy said like, subscribe, comment, hit the bell for notification. Until next time, keep shining. Keep smiling. Keep shopping.